Hello, welcome back to Arvind Singh Academy, and uh, we are going to discuss today uh, probability. This is lecture number six. I hope you have already watched part one to part five before uh, part six. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some problems of probability uh, from the given exercise, and uh, let us uh, solve some different problems so that you will be able to understand how to deal with, think about the question, and what the way to uh, solve the question. So, without wasting time, let us start today. And uh, we are discussing from exercise 16 point, exercise 16.3 and uh, some few questions have been already discussed. So let us discuss uh, some more question that is from question number 5 and on. So here is the question, a fair coin with mark 1, one marked on one face, a fair coin, fair coin with one mark on one face with one mark on one face with uh, one mark on one face face and six on other and six on other and a fair die are both toss and a fair dice, fair die are both tossed, are both tossed. Find the probability that, find the probability that, that the sum of the numbers that turn up each the sum of the numbers sum of the numbers turn up that turn up each first part a three first part three and second part is twelve. This is a question and uh, one coin and one dice are thrown together. <coughs> so simple space can be described as dice can have one, coin can have one and dice can have one also. One 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 two one three one four. 1, 5, 1, 6, isn't it, on dice, and on the coin, it can be 6, so 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, and 6, 6. So, these are simple space. So, total number of events, therefore, ns is equal to 12, total is 12. Out of them, the first part of the question is the 3, sum is 3, sum is 3, then favorable cases will be 1, 2, then only this is possibility. So number of favorable outcome will be 1 and therefore probability of an event is nf by ns that is 1 by 12. Answer. The second part of the question is the sum is 12, so favorable outcome will be 6 6. <coughs> therefore, here nf is equal to also 1, and therefore, probability of an event is nf by ns that is 1 by 12. So, both have equal probability, and you can do that. Now, let us consider question number 6, and the sixth question is there are 4 men and 6 women. There are four men and six women and six women, women on the city council, on the city council, city council. If one council member is selected, if one council member one council member is selected 
for a committee member is selected selected for committee selected for committee at random at random one council member is selected for committee at random then question is uh, how likely is how likely is likely is how likely is it likely is it that it is that it is a woman right this is the question how likely is it is a woman so their question is um, here 4 plus 6 is 10 total number is 10 so solution can be like this here ns is 4 plus 6 that is 10 10 percent so any one of them can be selected and therefore ns is 10 right now 4 plus 6 is 10 and favorable outcome is 6 women only therefore probability of an event is nf by ns that is 6 by 10 that is 3 by 5 answer so this is a simple question you can do that now question number 7 i would like to take on here and the seventh question is a fair coin is tossed four times a fair coin is tossed four times fair coin is tossed four times and a person win and a person win rupees one rupees one for each head one for each head for each head and lose lose rupees 1.50 for each tail that turn up for each tail that turns up that turns up <coughs> form a simple space a space calculate how many different amounts calculate how many different amounts different amounts how many different amounts of money you can have money you can have you can have after four tosses after four tosses and the probability of and the probability of probability of having each of these three amounts of each of these amounts in these amounts right this is the question so how to deal with this question each of these amounts that is a question four coin are tossed amounts amounts okay so for head he will gain one rupee and for tail he will gain one rupee is 50 paisa for tossage so the different possibility solution is what you have to do there are several questions in that Form a simple space 
calculate how many different amounts of money you can have after four tosses and find the probability. So first of all, we have to go for making sample space. So sample space will be like H H H H four head, three head and one tail. That can comes in four way. H H D H H H H D H H, isn't it? T H H H, right? Similarly, two H and two T can be in different way. H H and H T H H H T. H T that can be H T T H, isn't it? Keeping H same and uh, H double T can be arranged. H may come at this place, this place, and H H T T. So now we can have T T H H, right? T H T H, right? And T H H T. Then there will be H and three T. That can be T H T T. That can be T T H T. That can be T T T H. And finally the four T. So these are simple cases. Two, four, five and 6 11 and 5 16 these are 16 cases this is the simplest space now they are asking that uh, what is the probability of getting different money so suppose 4 h will come the case first when 4 head will appear head will appear then he will earn he will earn 4 into 1 that is rupees 4 and probability of getting this and probability of getting it is how many 4 heads only 1 so 1 upon 16 so getting earning rupees 4 has probability 1 by 16 so their age 1 by 16 probability there is probability of getting 1 by 4 rupees so there is a probability probability of earning rupees 4 is 1 by 16 now when 3 head case 2 case 2 when three head and one tail will appear one tail will appear will appear in that case what will happen the amount earn wage amount earn will be three into one plus one into one point five minus 1.4 so that is 3 minus 1 rupees 50 pesa that is 1 rupees 50 pesa so the probability of getting 3 head is how many 1 3 head is here only. 1 2 3 4 so there are 4 probability 4 of them are favorable and for this favorable cases are 4 so probability of getting event is 4 by 16 that is 1 by 4. So earning rupees 150 has probability therefore probability of earning earning rupees 150 one rupees 150 rupees 1.50 is 1 by 4. Now, uh, case 3. Case 3. When 2 head and 2 tail will appear, 
टू हेड एंड टू टेल विल अपीयर टेल विल अपीयर टू टाइम्स हेड एंड टू टाइम्स टेल विल कम इन दैट केस मनी अर्न अमाउंट अर्न विल बी अमाउंट अर्न विल बी टू इंटू वन फॉर टू हेड he will earn while 2 into 1 rupees fifty paisa he will lose so total 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 so when if he will lose rupees 1 probability of losing rupees 1 and in that case favorable cases are 6 only see that two head and two tail will come here only in six cases 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these six are favorable and in that case probability of nf is nf is 6 and probability of event is 6 by 16 that is 3 by 8 so probability of therefore probability of losing rupees 1 is 3 by 8 he will not earn but he will lose right and uh, case 4 case 4 will be there what is that when one head and three tail will come three tail will appear then amount earn is Earn is one into one minus three into one rupees fifty paisa. So this is minus three rupees fifty paisa. So probability that in that case favorable outcomes are four only, and probability of event is four by sixteen. That is one by four. Three tail and one head. Three tail and one head will come like. Here only three tail and one head will come in that case. Three tail and one head will appear in following four cases. So that will be four um, by sixteen. So probability of losing, therefore probability of earning minus three rupees fifty paisa is one by four. And when all four tail will appear, the next case. when all four tail will appear in that case what will happen when all four tails are appear all four tails will appear appear in this case favorable outcome will be 1 and probability of event will be 1 by 16 and amount earn age amount Earn will be four into minus one point five zero. That is minus six. So he will lose. Therefore, probability of he that he will lose will be minus six. Age one by six. Six is one by sixteen. That will be the answer. Now the question number eight. Three coins are tossed. Three coins are tossed once. Once. Find the probability of getting. Find the probability. Of getting. getting three heads first three heads when three coin will toss let us solve it together one by one so when three coins are tossed simple space will be 2 to the power 3 that is 8 and ns will be 8 and s will be in that case three coins are tossed in this case simple space will be like uh, can be described as S is equal to head 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 tail head tail head tail head head tail tail head 
tail head tail head tail tail and tail 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 this is the possibility so three heads will come here the probability favorable case is only head 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 three head will come that is one favorable case is only one and therefore number of favorable cases is only one and hence probability of event is 1 by 8 nf by ls so this is a very first question i hope you got, got it now the second part of the question that i will take take on here is getting two head two head so for this favorable outcomes are how many two head are comes thrice h h t h t h and t t t h h so number of favorable outcomes are three and therefore probability of event is three by eight that will be answered i hope you got it now the third part is third part of the question is third part is at least two head at least two head then favorable outcomes will be four at least two head means two head or more than two head that is h h t h t h t h h two head and more than two head that is three head so number of favorable outcomes are here that is four and therefore probability of event is four by eight that is one by two i hope you got it now part 4 is here that is at most 2 head at most 2 head at most 2 head in that case favorable outcomes are 2 head or less than 2 head means not 3 head so all 7 of them are favorable that is 2 head less than 2 head h h t h t h t h h here two head less than two head means one head and two tail so t h t h t t h and t t t so t t h and no head that is also included so all seven of them are favorable so here number of favorable outcomes are 7 and therefore probability of event is 7 by 8 that will be answered. Question number 5, part 5 of this one is 5, part 5. Part 5 is here and part 5 is no head. No head means only tail and in that case the favorable outcomes will be tail 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 and therefore nf is 1 and probability of event is in that case 1 by 8. Next question uh, is sixth part. Sixth part of this is how many? That is three tails. Three tails. Is this uh, same? Tail 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 and number of favorable outcomes is 1 and therefore probability of event is 1 by 8. So sixth part is this. Seventh part. Seventh part is they are asking about this seventh age exactly two tails. Exactly two tails. So favorable outcomes are in that case tail tail head tail head tail and head tail tail these are the three so number of favorable outcomes are three and therefore probability of event is nf by ns that is three by eight answer right now uh, eighth part of this question age eighth part of question age eighth part is given here no tail no tail is already repeated no head no head 
no tail is there no tail no tail means only head so favorable outcomes are h h h nf is equal to 1 and therefore probability of event is 1 by 8 nf by ns ninth part of this question is at most two tail at most two tail two tail means not three tail all three tail are not required and rest of the sevens are required so here favorable outcomes are h h t one tail right now h t h t h h and t t h t h t h t t and all at most two tail no tail is also there so here one tail two tail and no tail so all these are favorables seven are the favorables and therefore probability of event is seven by eight that would be answered so all these nine parts are there these are different types of questions are given just to clear the concept that what is the meaning of at least what is the meaning of at most and what is the meaning of exactly now let us consider question number nine if two by one is the probability of an event what is the probability of event not a two by one it is not possible if two by eleven is the probability of probability of I'm not sure what is this. This is the printing error. I am not able to see, but I have taken it 11. 2 by 11 is the probability of an event. Of an event. Then what is the probability that event not a? Then what is the probability? What is the probability? Probability of the event. Of the event not a so we know solution says solution probability of not a is equal to 1 minus probability of a and therefore 1 minus 2 by 11 is 9 by 11 that would be answer so simple idea now question number 10 and question number 10 I can take on from new page question number 10 is here and a letter is chosen at random. A letter is chosen at random. Random from the word from the word word assassination. Assassination. assassination find the probability of the that find the probability that find the probability that the letter is letter is one vowel and two Cons a consonant consonant <coughs> so out of the solutions are like solutions can be written assassination as a a 4 a 3 4 4 a and then i is two times 2 i and 1 o these are the words vowels are like this and consonants are s s s s 4 s 2 n 2 n and 1 t isn't it so these are few things which is in this total number of alphabets are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 total number of alphabets are 13, 2, 4, 6, 7, and 5. 
Assassination. Three A. Only three A. There is no four A. Three A. And two A. Three, three, six, three, nine, and four, thirteen. So three, two, five, one, six, and two, four, four, two, six, and seven. So thirteen. Total number of alphabets are thirteen. So here N S is equal to thirteen. Any one of them may come out. Now for first question, I do vowel. Vowels are how many? Vowels. So favorable outcomes are A A A I I O. So number of favorable outcomes are six only. So probability of getting vowel is what? Six by thirteen. <coughs> And remaining seven are consonants. So second part is consonants. Consonants favorable outcomes are which one? S S S S N N and T. Right. So number of favorable outcomes are N S is equal to seven, and therefore probability of getting consonant consonant is seven by thirty. That will be answer. So hopefully you got it. Right now, these are easy one and uh, some basic questions are there. You will be able to understand it. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this lot and something new you are going to learn about it. So, thank you very much. Uh, uh, we will see some more questions in the next session. Till then, bye bye. God bless you and take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much.